up everyone. I just wanted to kind of talk to y'all about a opportunity that presented itself to me uh, here a few weeks ago. A coworker at SAGU came and was asking about if I'd be interested in going on a missions trip. And it's something I never really thought I'd be doing or considering, but uh, when she was detailing out all the aspects of it, it was something I, you know, that got put on my heart and you know really I was thinking about it and praying about it for a couple weeks. I couldn't ignore the fact that this seems like it was a tailored made missions trip for me and uh, just the fact that they needed musicians, they needed some more young adults to go on this trip. It's also in a country called Latvia which is right next to Russia which is somewhere I've always been interested in going to that part of the world and seeing those kind of you know just sites and um, yeah I'm really excited and I feel Feel like God is stretching me and has something great in store for me on this trip. Jesus talks about the Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28, go and make disciples of all nations. So yeah, I'm excited to go and do that and live that out. So to give y'all some more insight on the trip, what we're going to be doing is going over, we're flying over to Riga, Latvia. Riga is the capital of Latvia. We're going to be joining forces with the Good News Church. We're going to be helping them with some local outreaches in the city, mainly focusing during the day on kids ministry. At night, we're going to be also throwing some larger scale outreaches, mainly focused toward the youth and young adults over in that area. So um, one being in, you know, a leader in youth ministry and helping out in kids ministry. That was something else that also just kind of drew my attention to this. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous. Also, a little side note, this will be my first flight ever. So I'm a little freaked out by that. It's gonna be about a 14 hour flight initially. We have a layover in Germany, and then there'll be another short flight over to Riga, Latvia. I'm very excited about this opportunity and I know that there is so much that goes into it, not only spiritually, mentally, but also financially. So I would hope that you would be in prayer for me as I go on this journey. And also if you're able to give financially and help fund this trip, there's links if you're watching this on YouTube in the description. If you're watching this on Facebook, there's probably a link up here in the caption. If you're watching on Twitter or Instagram, there's gonna be a link in my bio. If you would just click on that, It'll take you to the page. It'll show you my current funding, how much I've raised, and how much I need to finish raising. So if you wanna check on that, and if you feel led to give, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, just be in prayer for me as I go on this journey. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. Just wanted to talk to you about a few of the ways that I plan on raising some funds for this trip. Uh, I'm going to be selling some CDs and records that I have. As many of you know, I'm a huge collector of music. I have a ton of records and CDs that I'm getting rid of and selling. Also, I'm gonna be doing a popcorn fundraiser, a gourmet popcorn company that's located here in North Texas area. Another way is if you or someone you know might be interested in having some pictures or videos done. Uh, I'm not a professional photographer or videographer, but I am learning and I'm into that sort of thing and creating and editing videos. And so if you know of anyone or if you yourself want something done in that nature hit me up so I'm really excited about this trip and I do plan on taking my camera and some gear over there and hopefully being able to document some of the actual trip uh, so whenever I get back you'll definitely get to see a condensed version of what we did and the impact and the fruits of your giving and your prayers thank you for watching this thank you for your prayers and your support love y'all and yeah You know what else is cool is like that we get to go to Latvia and the Dallas Mavericks just traded for Kristaps Porzingis not too long ago. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it because I've liked Kristaps Porzingis since he was like in New York. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. He's probably the best Latvian basketball player. I don't really, I know there's one other in the league right now, yeah. but he's the most prominent one for sure. So. Oh, hold on, this thing is still going. Oh. Hey.